Hey fit sis, today we're gonna get fit while wow. making your ex regret breaking your heart and show that giant bag of flaming Christmas trash what a mistake he has made. Well, let me tell you something, sugar cookie. Brad doesn't deserve you. He can kiss your toned tush goodbye. Okay, let's get started. Since your ex is a big dum-dum, today we're doing a dumbbells only workout. And we're not doing this workout for Brad. We're doing it for you, girl. For you. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. I deserve it. You deserve it. We all deserve it. Get your sparkly sausage casings on. Pick your wedgies. Fix your camel toe. Today we're doing a 20 minute full body revenge body workout. We're gonna do 50 seconds on an exercise and then rest for 10 seconds while we think about all the reasons we're better off without that Yule log moose knuckle. And I'll demonstrate your next exercise. Put down the peppermint bark. Get off your couch. We're doing double squats with a bicep curl and work that tush. He'll never get to squish again. We're doing a double squat and when you come up, I want you to squeeze your tush as tight as you are holding on to this failed relationship. Rest for 10 seconds and drop one of your dumbbells, just like Brad dropped the snowball on your cute cinnamon buns. Boy, was that a mistake. We're gonna do a side lunge into an overhead press. Oh, you have resting Grinch face when you exercise too? So your face looks like you're pinching off a loaf of gingerbread when you exercise, so what? Getting your revenge body is not about being perfect. It's about showing up for yourself every single day, putting in the work, loving yourself right where you're at, and you'll attract a man who loves you for the beautiful snowflake that you are. Resting for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Girl, you are slaying this workout. Get it, slay like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. What burns more right now, your breakup or your outer thighs? I'm gonna go with your outer thighs. And every day you do this workout, your breakup's gonna hurt a little less and your quads are gonna look a little better. It's a win-win situation. About three weeks from now. Are we gonna run into him at our favorite restaurant on accident? Wearing your moo moo, having gained 10 pounds, and your hair smells like Santa's dreadlock from the 70s? Hail snow, we're not doing that. Next time we run into him, we're gonna look good, we're gonna feel good, and we're gonna be like Brad who? Show up for your life, eat your broccoli, get your workouts in, dress your best. The better you feel about yourself, the more he's gonna miss you, and the better it's gonna feel when you meet that special someone who treats you like the beautiful ice prince that you are. And Christmas is my Resting for 10, and then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I know 
you might want to go crazy ex-girlfriend on him just to get his attention, but don't do it. Don't do it. You just so happen to accidentally text him a picture of you out on a hot date with Kevin. Oops, I meant to send that to Sarah. How are you? Don't do it. Come all ye faithful. I know you want to go on that high key would never go on with you. Take 18 selfies and post them on Instagram. Hashtag Beyonce, hashtag all the jingle ladies, hashtag living my best life. Don't do it. Come and be Rest for 10 seconds and then we're going to practice kicking all of the toxic people out of our lives. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him, come let us adore him. I know you might want to sneak down his chimney and spray perfume on his pillow to remind him of you. Don't do it. I know you may want to place your sexy lingerie in his hamper for him to find and remind him of you. But breaking into his home is a felony and we don't do that. Don't do it. Sing choirs of angels sing in exultation sing all ye citizens of heaven above glory to god resting for 10 seconds and are we sure we got all the toxic people out of our life. I think we better practice kicking them out of our lives on the other side for 50 more seconds. Adore him. Come let us I know there's nothing that would bring you as much holiday cheer as to go all Carrie Underwood on his pickup truck. We don't do that. Don't do it. I know you want to spend your stimulus check on an extra small size of leggings that you'll one day fit into. Don't do it. They'll never fit. Ever. They'll never fit. And if you can get them over your rump, your gumdrop buttons are bound to pop off. And they'll most likely give you a ginger spice muffin top. So let's not. Don't do it. Oh, of the Father, now in flesh appearing. Now this next exercise is gonna burn worse than your ex's nuts roasting over an open fire. But finish it out, I believe in you, girl. Him. Come let us adore him, Christ alone. Listen, I know you miss him. I know you want to use his old toothbrush just to be closer to him because it's the only thing he left behind. Ew, seriously, don't do that. There's bacteria on that. And sweet baby gentle Jesus only knows where that nasty trash of a mouth has been. Don't do it. And you may want to use sarcasm and bad jokes to cover up your deep sense of personal shame, pain, and anguish to passive aggressively and simultaneously feel better about yourself and get back at Rudolph the brown nose jackass. <coughs> Brad, excuse me. Duh, actually you can do that. That's totally cool. Now it's time for a quick water break and then come back and meet me on the mat. Remember when he took a candy cane, licked it into an ice pick, and stabbed you directly into the back with it? That is the back we're working in this exercise. The back he had to look at while you dasher and dancered your way out of his life. That back that's gonna look hella sexy in that red holiday dress. That's the back we're working in this exercise.
Next up, we're doing a push up into a kickback. And let me tell you, this exercise is no joke. But I do have a joke for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Brad. Brad, who? We don't know him anymore. <laughs> Resting for 10 seconds, and then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. While you're doing this exercise, I want you to think about all the things you love about yourself. It's one thing to have a revenge body, but who cares if you're in shape if you don't feel good about yourself? Take a second to show some gratitude to that beautiful body that allows you to do all the things that you want to do in life. Honor and give yourself a little Christmas squish. And the next time you see that phony baloney fruitcake, he'll notice what he's missing and it'll feel good for a little bit. But more importantly, we're going to have a lifetime of self-love and remember to feed your body with nutritious foods. Brad is not hiding in the bottom of a pint of moose tracks. Now we're going to take the last two exercises and repeat on the other side. you're busy kicking all the toxic people out of your life, sometimes you'll fall over. You'll fall down. Just pick yourself back up, remember the snow angel that you are, and give Jack Off Frost a one-way ticket back to the North Pole. We're doing 10 pulses on this next exercise. A pulse for every set of falsies you ruined. Crying your eyeballs out over that banana nuthead. 10 wasted falsies, $7 each, zero diamond rings, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's all he ever gave you. Oh, that and chlamydia. Thanks a lot, Brad. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to I know this workout's getting tough, I know your body's getting tired, but push through, baby, because next time you see him, your body's gonna be rocking around that Christmas tree. You're gonna be one tall glass of hot apple cider, and he's gonna want a taste of that sweet, sweet cinnamon. We're falling in love. Summer ended, but we did not. We started some things, thing that we got grew stronger each day. We're together on the way or oh, we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear Now I think we can all agree that the actual concept of getting a revenge body is a huge fat sack of seasick crocodiles, am I right? Okay, just making sure we're on the same page with that. Yes, you do want to feel good about yourself. Exercise is great for mental health. It's great for your confidence. It's great for lasting health. If someone put you down for the size of your thighs, they do not deserve to be in your life. Get the body you want and you deserve for yourself. And put that silly elf on the shelf. If he doesn't love you with all of your flaws, find a new mister to your Mrs. Claus. Time's got the best of me, then it starts to snow in a heart. We will know that we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear we're falling in love. It's true, this part of the year has something in store for us. 
burns more right now, your abdominals or the fiery sting of rejection? I'm gonna go with your abdominals. Cause if you love yourself enough, your eggnog gonna care what other people think of you. And remember, the best relationship you're ever gonna have is the one you have with your elf. So treat your elf with kindness, Christmas spirit, and compassion. In this next exercise, we're not only working those pillowy soft cream puffs, we're also working those cute little ginger snaps. We're gonna push up into a bridge, press with the left, press with the right, and then back down. For all eternity, this time I will do better than... So Brad was a little too naughty, not enough nice. And we've all had a guy who's a little too nice and not enough naughty, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let's find a man who's equal parts nice and equal parts naughty. Only then will you give him your sweet hot toddy. could grant me just one Christmas wish, that would be to please unfollow him from all social media. Do you really want to see him stuffing some other chick's Thanksgiving turkey? We all know he's going to be spraying his whipped cream on her caramel macchiato. Do you really think you need to see him frosting some other girl's sugar cookie? I don't think so. What Brad is doing is none your business. Focus on you and let jolly Saint Dick do whatever he needs to do. Because next time he sees you, angels are going to be singing from your abdominals. And you, sister, are going to be slaying. Okay, so let's say you get your revenge body, he wants you back, what do you do? What do you do? You take him back? Are you gonna decorate his twigs and berries? Are you gonna deck his balls with boughs of holly? Or are you gonna be like, sorry dude, you screwed it up? What are you gonna do? earning that peppermint white mocha in this next exercise. Push up into a bridge and press your little Christmas buns until they are golden brown. You're doing it right if you have a glimmery fiery heat running from your triceps all through your back and directly into your peppermint patties. Today we 
worked our Christmas ass. And Brad's a ghost of Christmas past. There's no better gift from a Christmas elf than learning how to love oneself. So wrap your heart in glittered bows and give it out to only those who see you as a shining star and love you just the way you are. Unless you start going crazy ex-girlfriend and acting like trash, in which case you need to tone it down a notch. Be the person you want to attract. We just put the X in exercise. Tell Brad he can kiss your tinsel tush goodbye. And remember, being happy and living your best life is ultimately the best revenge. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a super fun, slightly sarcastic, and very effective workout with me. If you made it to the end of the video, give it a thumbs up and come join me for daily vlogs on my other channel, Montana Dana. And remember, squeeze your butts and trust your guts. See you next time.